Gentlemen, to in TV. This is our TV show for the week of November 14th, 2013. I'm Nolan Weiss. And I'm Jeffrey Jorgensen. And Jeffrey Jorgensen, how are you doing this lovely week? No snow still. I know, it's depressing. I know, I figured your emotion would be like that. Yeah, the weeks are drawing out longer and longer with the snow not falling. But you know that the snow will fall, but probably not much. We'll probably only have three feet because this was the winter. Everybody said, oh my gosh. What about the people in the north? I'm afraid it's too late for them. Bear down and buckle down the hinges and get all the firewood in because this is going to be one winter to remember. But three I don't think so. Three feet's a lot, though. Three feet of snow? Three feet? Yeah. Just three feet of snow, that's it? Three feet of snow? I'm used to like four or five feet of snow. Okay. All right. That's, okay. that's the winters I'm used to, but three feet of snow, I would love to have just that in a winter, and that's it. Not me. Well, I could do with eight. Up in the mountains, I could do with feet. eight. Possibly. That uh, seems like a little too much. 30 feet of snow. You know what? Our next story, though, or actually our first story, this would be a great thing to have on the mountain. I wonder if it's UL tested, listed, and labeled, though. Probably not yet. But we're talking about this new Swedish invention by these two women that invented a invisible bike helmet. And I guess you could use it as a snowboarding, probably skiing helmet, too. And it's not quite invisible. It's actually decorated as a scarf, but it works as an airbag. Yeah, it's pretty big, too. Yeah, it is. I mean, it seems like it just might pop your neck out of place or whatnot. <laughs> it's or not very invisible. You. Yeah. Eddie thinks it's a good idea, but I do not. I think he he thinks the scarf is beautiful. What if something just like pops you on the head? Like what if you're riding your bike real fast and there's a tree branch like this low hanging and you just get drilled on the head? And it, goes, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> no, it doesn't do anything else. But maybe he has a fashion statement. So he's like, wow, look at that cool Swedish person in there. Cool helmet. Look at that bug in the yeah, room. We have a bee. We have a bee that right there proves to me we will have a, a mild winter. winter. I think it's mild a long winter. winter. The bees are out. They're just getting ready for this little winter, and then they can come back in springtime and pollinate and do all their great things. Moving right along, the Veterans Day Assembly took place this last Friday, and it was a great turnout, as always, and the kids did a fantastic job showing to the vets how much they mean to us as a community. Very great time, and Eddie was down there to get some footage for you and the whole presentation on NTV at Select Times. Outline flies when you're having fun, but this is my ninth Veterans Day Assembly, and it's one of the highlights of the year for me personally for a variety of reasons, but here's Now folks, there's a lot of Veterans Day assemblies going on today and in the next couple of days, but I don't think you'll hear the national anthem played by a marimba band. So. So at this time, it'll take just a couple minutes, but turn your attention to the screen behind me, and in just a minute, the lights will go out, and we will do our veterans video in honor of all of the individuals who we just called, and several were not here. When you're tired, that was grandpa. This kid's our family, and granny's house, and the gravy takes great off. And thank you to the Clayton Roslin School District for putting on once again a great Veterans Assembly. It's that time again, and I'm getting very excited oh, for yeah. Christmas in Cleelum. The city is partnering up with the vision of Cleelum to make this Christmas in Cleelum one to remember. It's going to be a special one this year, and they have been having meetings on Thursdays. They had one actually tonight on the 14th, but you can check out some more meetings that are coming up. They have four weeks left before Christmas in Cleelum, so please get a hold of the Cleelum 
uh, City Hall or the Vision of Cleon. I know Carrie Farnham's the director there, and she'd love to get your participation in Christmas in Cleon. The Court Advocates for Children is going to hold a celebration of hope taking place on December 2nd. This will be a great time, and money will be raised for the children of the Upper Kittitas County. They'll be serving dinner and having a silent auction, and they have some great items like some Mariners games tickets and a chainsaw sculptured by Sheriff Dana. Sounds like an awesome time and a great thing going to the children of the Upper Kittitas County that truly need it. I want a chainsaw sculpture of a penguin. I would like a uh, chainsaw sculpture of Sheriff Dana. Ooh, that would be <laughs> impressive. That would be pretty funny. It would have to be a pretty big log. We want to thank all of our sponsors, Ruby Scrapbooking Things, Cleon Farm and Home, Gunner's Coffee Cabin, and the Cleon Lions Church. Thank you so much for the support that you give in TV and the commercials that we produce for you. Inland Networks is doing a bunch of big things to make your viewing of programming more essential, including bringing the NFL Network to your television. I love it. NFL Red Zone, NFL Network. Make sure you have it because we are halfway through the season, and if you're not staying up with your teams, your fantasy football league is probably not doing very well. Did you see that, uh, what does the hawk say? You can beat us in our house. What the hawk say? I love what does the hawk say, but I love more what does the fox say. Play it, Eddie. You gotta make the Super Bowl first and then win, 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 win. But yep. they're doing awesome. They are. Um, I know they almost lost against Tampa Bay, but Tampa Bay got their first win. Almost lost against the Rams. But then they just demolished the Falcons. Tampa Bay with a deserving win, it was if you a ask great me. Win. And they couldn't have be a more better team to defeat Miami? than Miami. Miami just has been through the... some debacles. Oh, some... because they've been bullying. Yeah, they're bullies, big old bullies. They were, yeah. and, and that that goes to show right there. Bullying in the upper levels and in high school levels and elementary. It's Doesn't everywhere. Prosper. People need to stop bullying. Absolutely. It's bad. And Inland is also giving away Inland Bucks. So Some pick bucks. up your local Tribune and collect your Inland Bucks for any of the services that we have to offer. Yep, you get to save $10 with Inland Bucks. Bring in the paper, receive $10 off your service. It is applied to service and not equipment. Also, only one per customer. Inland Networks is also going to be opening up their doors at the Cleelum office on Saturdays going from 9 to 5 p.m. And they are also planning on bringing the U.S. Cellular side into business on those days. Days as well and guess what too the iPhones brand new S's and the I think S4's is it S4's or S5's it's the 5S and 5C 5S 5C sorry I'm an Android guy but all those great cell phones are now at US Cellular with Inland Network so your iPhones and your Androids all down there great location in Cleom so if you need a new phone go check out US Cellular because they have great service and those snazzy new iPhones. Staying on the iPhone topic, Apple is opening up a new office, and this is going to be a ginormous estate. This, Which is crazy. Yes, it is. It's going to be 2.8 million square feet, and it's going to house 13,000 employees. This is going to be called the mothership, and maybe they're trying to... Uh, Sign uh, the aliens. Yeah, and probably go up into outer space. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Jobs was an alien. This is going to be built on 176 acres of land and is said to be built by 2016. The estimated budget is $5 billion and it is dubbed the Mothership. Pretty cool. Wow, the Mothership. You, th you think they could have came up with like a cooler name? I don't like know. Like when I was a kid and played video games, every boss was the Mothership and you had to go with such a dorky name like the mothership it's not dorky you tell that to the aliens when you meet them they probably the have mothership. a lot cooler a name that they call their uh their mothership like the death star or fathership no a fellowship no no anyways <laughs> election, right re election results they happen with 522 and uh here are the results and Nothing really looked like they're passing. Nope. Unfortunately, not. nothing passed. Yep. In some downtown in between Cleveland and Roslyn news, I hope you guys have all